You guys have worked with a lot of great artists. Who do you look forward to working with in the future? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you know that Daft Punk thing? No, I'm oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> um, we got our own special helmets. <laughs> you know, there's so many. There's a lot, of, a lot of the new producers. We actually have been scouring the internet for, like, um, what's next? Who's the, who are the next new producers? That's always kind of like our first single, you know, everybody on that song was virtually unknown, you know, like a G6. And so it's like it's always about just kind of like linking up with the new people out there. And I mean, there's a new artist, Rel the Soundbender, who's an incredible producer, um, just did an amazing remix for Snoop Dogg. Definitely get in with him. Um, Sydney Sampson, Quintino, a lot of the Dutch House producers. And um, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's, it's all about these days. It's really not about who has the biggest hits. It's just, you know, who's kind of brings that fun, new, insp inspired energy to music. It's so. easy to say who's not all about who's got the biggest hit because you guys have had the biggest <laughs> hit. I and mean, what was it like to be the number one song? And especially as the first African-American <laughs> I did get a little tan, yeah, but I'm yeah. transposing it onto you. But as the first Asian American group to uh -huh. achieve this, did you know that at the time that that was that that was a milestone that you'd accomplish, or did you find that out later? We well, we we didn't we didn't know that because I, I mean, growing up, you know, you think I mean Lincoln Park, you know, they got this Asian American members in there, and I don't know. You figured, you know, there's Apple from the Black Eyed Peas, you know, he's. They've done countless things, so you know we we don't feel like it was anything special. We just, if anything, we were like, yo, growing up where we grew up, you know, around that's a trip. Whoever thought that you know a bunch of friends gathering around their computers at late night that would happen? But when it started, when the community started recognizing that, and people started mentioning that in interviews, it was kind of a shock. You know, you think about it, and you go, wow, like, you know. Kind of wish I had like a political line in there or something. You, know? <laughs> you gotta work on that. Yeah, it was like it was all it was all like about partying, you know. That's cool, but I mean, you know, we're really proud of that. You know, we're really proud that our community recognizes that, and um, you know, if anything, it, it just inspires us more. You know, to just be ourselves. At the end of the day, all we can be is is the city that raised us.